Hey, hi, hello. Oh, what's up, guys? Uh, Foxy Dubs is in sound. My name, Foxy Dubs, overdub, things like that. That's what we talk about here on the channel. So my name is Foxy Dubs, and I do sound design, uh, or I specialize in sound. I'm just a guy that has a degree in sound design, and I'm just gonna make videos on the internet about it. So, so we're pretty much reacting to the fight of Naruto versus Sasuke in the final valley from Naruto Shippuden. This video is a year overdue, and I need to give a huge shout out to my boy Eric. Make sure you guys go follow him on Twitter. He is a writer and journalist for Anime Corner, and he took notes for me. You know, I just looked over them a little bit, and obviously, I got a pretty good ear, but I like to get a second opinion. I have watched Naruto, and I've seen Naruto Shippuden. I binged it in one month, like a year and a half ago, and it's probably in my top five of favorite anime of all time. We're going to react to the whole entire fight. Hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, I don't know, like drop a like, you know, drop a deuce or something like that on the like button, and you know, just uh, let me know what else you guys want me to do down in the comments. So uh, this part right here where Sasuke is talking to Naruto and like the official soundtrack is playing and you see Itachi like right behind him and stuff like that. And then the rain gradually overpowers the official soundtrack. Just that gradual increase in volume of the rain really brings forth sad, lonely, I'm by myself vibe that Sasuke is portraying. The past. And then right here, I really like the sound effect that they use for when Naruto realizes what Sasuke wants to do. It almost sounds like a lightning bolt has been struck. Like, oh my God, like Naruto just realized that Sasuke wants to pretty much reset everything. And that lightning bolt, I looked at it as, oh, that's a lightning bolt type sound. And it is associated with Sasuke who has, you know, the Chidori. And that's a lightning technique or a lightning style of jutsu. That, I thought that was really awesome too. I know that it might not mean something, but it's a parallel that I made. And maybe it sounds something completely different to you, but I'm getting some new headphones soon because I don't want to really use these Astros for this kind of stuff. So just bear with me. I can still hear everything pretty well, but I really love how overpowered the waterfall is because it really gives like that grandiose feeling of holy shit this stuff is about to go down bro like when they start running you can still kind of hear it in the background but it's very faint and that sound right there it sounds like two jets when they clash it's almost like an explosion like a water explosion almost uh, I, I think i wrote here in my notes let me let me check real quick but them clashing sounds like an explosion in the water but as soon as they bounce back it's it has like a distant explosion sound. It's almost as if you watch an explosion from far away, put headphones on and then put like a bowl over top of it. It's like almost muffled. The big thud, you know, it almost sounds like there's a dinosaur coming or something like that. It's almost like they put a bass drum underwater and the directors were like, all right, as soon as Naruto and Sasuke go ahead and like bounce back after they clash, Someone beat the drum so that way it's got that big ginormous feel to it underwater and, and make sure it's muffled. The circle around them when they bounce back almost looks like that too, which I think is really, really neat. The far away, you know, punches and kicks and things like that is really well done too, because obviously if they were louder, it would be really weird because from an audience perspective, we're really far away. A lot of these punches and kicks, they're like a whoosh sound and then a punch sound effect. We could possibly kind of go into detail of that, like in, an, in another video where I could show you guys how they do that. I know that there's a lot of punches and kicks being thrown. So the sound effects for each punch and kick will kind of be a little bit more repetitive. It always blows my mind when anime can pretty much incorporate different styles of punching sound effects and whoosh sound effects just by pitch shifting and increasing the speed of it and like keep maintaining that pitch still. It's just a lot that goes into it that's really fascinating to me. Also, I think it's fucking genius how there's no soundtrack. Obviously, music can ra raise the stakes. You can't always do it. If you do it and it just doesn't make sense, it's like, I, I, don't, I don't really know if that fits. But in here, it fits and I love it. Just all the jumps and kicks and flips, when they're stepping in the water, it's really, really good. It doesn't sound the same at all times. A lot of times when people are doing sounds, they kind of do it the same or they, they try and incorporate it the same. And it's kind of lazy in my opinion. I always, like whenever I do things, I try to not use the same one over and over again, unless it's not noticeable at all. 
honestly that sounded like a zip line when sasuke threw that ku uh, kunai which is awesome and obviously the zip line of him riding in on the kunai with you know whatever is attached to it and things like that i like how the waterfall is still faint i think the clapping is a little odd when naruto like grabs himself but it's there for dramatic effect dude just the rubble sound of sasuke going into i think they're on the first hokage's statue at this point it's just awesome that attention to detail these kicks that sasuke is giving naruto there's a bit more echo to them which makes it sound even more powerful and even in some of these kicks and i'm pretty sure in multiple kicks later on in the fight like near the end some of these kicks that sasuke delivers just literally sounds like he's trying to break naruto and i never really get that vibe whenever naruto is hitting sasuke with an attack inferno style Honoi Kazuchi. the little sudden things that they put in all four of naruto's clones having foot patterns and you know things like that it sounded like they doubled up the track with sasuke's attack if they had only one track with it it wouldn't sound as powerful but because they doubled up on it it sounds like there's multiple going on at once yeah naruto hitting that was that's I love how each sound when Naruto goes into, I believe this is Sage mode. I haven't watched Naruto in a little bit, so I'm. Uh, I, let me let me double check. I don't want to get crucified by the by the fan base. So, uh, Naruto Sage mode. Is it Six Path Sage mode? Let me know in the comments. Honestly, I cannot remember for the life of me. But my point is that when he's got these big ass arms of Kuruma coming out, it's the the first time that he says anything during the fight is a yell when he smashes the shit or almost smashes the shit out of Sasuke. <laughs> That's an insane shot. I love lightning. It's one of my favorite things. Lightning and fire are awesome sound effects. A lot of anime, at, the, at least in the beginning, reuses a lot of sound effects. So like Sasuke's Chidori sound is also used in Cowboy Bebop. It's crazy how powerful lightning explosions are when Sasuke is using his Susano, like for the first time, pretty much hitting the water and them just exploding. And they just sound so beefy. I know I use that term a lot. I use beefy a lot. It sounds so destructive and almost with like a negative energy to it in a way. I like how when uh, Naruto throws the, the mini bowling balls, <laughs> that's what I'll call them, uh, the mini bowling balls at Sasuke's Susano, uh, like lightning bolts, it, like when it cuts through them, it's almost as if it's like a sword going right through like a shield or something like that. No one says anything, but you hear like the subtle rain and then obviously the emotional music, the official soundtrack comes in. That was three and a half minutes of fighting with no soundtrack which is beautiful. I mean, just like one thing that they knew what to do with Naruto was when to bring in like the soundtrack. I mean, I'm like getting emotional. The soundtrack like makes you feel something, at least for me. And I know for millions of other people too. Them not saying a word during the fight at first makes the scene so much more powerful to me. If like they had been fighting back and forth and Naruto had been like, I gotta save you Sasuke. I would have been like, bro, shut the fuck up and just fight, man. Let that build up and let it gradually come in, which it ends up, which it like kind of ends up doing. That sound right there. Okay, I'm gonna go back real quick. It sounds like a sword is being welded. You guys know how in Demon Slayer, like, or I mean, I don't wanna use Demon Slayer as like an example, but like someone is crafting a sword. Like if you guys play Elden Ring or whatever, like if you, or if you guys just know how smithing works or blacksmithing or whatever, just you guys have seen movies, I'd hope so. You know, when they craft a sword and they're just banging on it repeatedly. And that's the kind of sound I got, but also there's that sound of connecting with another sword and both of them being at a standstill and neither one is budging, which is really, really cool. And it's so abrupt and not to mention the visual zooms in on this happening. Then the storm brewing in the background. I always really liked the um, 
the the bowling balls let me research this again what are the kurama balls called <laughs> tailed beast balls yes the tailed beast balls with the visual it really sounds like there's multiple things creating this ginormous weapon that high pitched tone or like that high pitched sound effect where like if you took a sword and kind of that sling or whatever but it's kind of slowed down in this aspect and it kind of has like that pitch where it goes from like not low not not maybe not a pitch but the volume is low and then gets real high or the gain gets higher and it sounds like something's powering up dude dude <laughs> i will forever be a fan of sasuke's lightning love that in a way if you took the halo sentinel beam from like halo 3 or something like that and you put some base behind it and maybe doubled it up a little bit if you took dry ice and put like metal balls on them crinkling like i want to say icy it's like a very crystallized sound to it you put all those three together i feel like that might be the outcome of what the kieran is um when the lightning bolt comes all the way down yeah right there or actually it's as it leaves so as it ends that looks like the rumbling <laughs> okay bro someone's gotta make that a meme bro spoilers sorry uh, another thing I just noticed, but Sasuke Susano has is like built by flames. Uh, at least that's what the sound is portraying. And Naruto's sound effect, it almost sounds like bubbles or a bubbling sound effect within Naruto's um, to that video crash. They hate six you. path sage mode. <laughs> Obviously, Sasuke, like I said before, it's like he's in a pit of fire and stuff like that, which is something I just noticed, which is really, really cool. That's a that's awesome contrast like just the little details man man i nerd out about it bro just a bunch of like this sounds like they were like all right what can we do for this huge explosion hey just take a bunch of different whooshes swishes you know laser sound effects laser beams and just throw them all together and put them in the right place accordingly. What they probably did in Pro Tools is, you know, made a sound effect. They might have like taken a pen or like a piece of paper and like smacked it on something. And then they dragged it out through like the pitch shifter and adjusted the mid and highs and lows and things like that. Threw in different effects to make them all sound different. Like I know it sounds weird me saying that. I would have to show you guys what I meant, which maybe I'll do one day. Obviously explosions, but a lot of whooshes, swishes and things like that that are in this that, that just really create such a ginormous, grandiose, exploding sound between the Susano and Naruto's six paths sage mode there's no guarantee that the world you're going to rebuild i really like how when they're talking to one another and like this isn't really sound effects but like it's sound design it really does feel like even though like it kind of looks like they're in some extraterrestrial like space kind of sort of like heaven type vibe they bring that echo in so that way we know as viewers that they are the only two people in this in this space just like the fight just fantastic and we're literally not even halfway through this <laughs> the akatsuki music although the visuals look really weird when the boulders are kind of coming towards sasuke they make them feel so grandiose and like boulders <laughs> like that like that sounds mad grandiose like they put a boom like a bunch of crackling behind it like as if mountains were falling or there was iceberg falling down you know that's the end of like the first part of the fight near the end is where i would like to uh i would like to look at or whatever so uh yeah let's uh let's start it so i like this soundtrack but a part of me feels like it doesn't fit i understand it's supposed to be like metal and i love metal music and it's supposed to signify Sasuke powering up, getting armor in his Susano and like having like this new form. That jutsu again, huh? I really like how when Naruto summons the clones, this guitar riff comes in. It's like a disappointing guitar riff. It's like, eh, well, Sasuke kind of just leveled up and you kind of just did the same old thing. This sound right here though is really weird. It almost sounds like a rubber pulling sound effect. It sounds like stretching. It's a sound effect I would hear in a One Piece fight because of Luffy, the way he can stretch around and stuff like that. Not really a big metal lightning 
god almost it just kind of seems out of place for me but whatever that's just one thing that i don't really like but that's okay i mean it's it's one small little sound effect in a sea of awesome sound effects in an awesome fight love the sound when he summons the spear or sword or whatever i'm probably triggering so many naruto fans right now oh dude that lightning was awesome when you see kuruma kind of bite him you hear like that crackling sound which i really really like as well low key i kind of wish there was no soundtrack behind this except right here love how the arrows pierce through there dude lightning is just such a cool sound effect man see what i'm saying like that rubber band stretching is almost almost out of place it's weird i don't know that sounds so grandiose it almost sounds like as if someone filmed or got us got a recording of a bunch of debris falling but slowed it up love the whipping and whirling of that it's definitely doubled and tripled Poof. that whip dude that's like the third or fourth time I've heard that lightning sound effect. At least in Naruto that I've noticed before. They tend to use a lot of the similar sounds, but they kind of change the pitch and things like that. I mean, there's a lot that goes into this. So obviously they're going to re reuse this stuff, but it's just something I noticed while I'm doing this. I mean, I'm already like probably like 30, 40 minutes into doing this or whatever. Um, so if you're watching on Patreon, hello. A lot of times when I'm talking about this stuff, I'm just making assessments. It's not like me bashing it or anything like that. So just be gone already. I love how there's no sound effect behind him saying that. Crackling of the thunder, the lightning, and then also the crackling and the winds of everything going on from the, the two powers going at one another is just so well done. You can hear in the distance, you can still hear like the lightning and cracks. That one like low-key jumped me a little bit. You think from a distance they're not all really loud and then you get one really loud lightning strike and and one really loud thunder crack and it's like holy shit okay yeah we're in this ah the og og soundtrack coming through and i love it because of where they're at in the final valley i need the tail beasts i don't know if you guys heard that but they did the sound effect of his hands coming together low key love that oh yeah oh okay so right there yeah okay so never mind i take back what i said before <laughs> some of these kicks that sasuke delivers just literally sounds like he's trying to break naruto and i never really get that vibe whenever naruto is hitting sasuke with an attack so right there when naruto's kicking sasuke it sounds like okay i gotta start kicking this guy to break him now i love how in the beginning of the fight sasuke was doing that but now we're near the end of the fight like i said before and naruto's doing it and that's really cool that sounded like gunshots almost when he had the shurikens appear from his forearm. I love rock and metal. So like this, just the soundtrack and it being OG <laughs> and Naruto fly, falls flat on his face. And I love like the little small sound effect of his Rasengan slowly closing. Great detail. Ooh, that one sounded like, then like that one sounded like it hurt, bro. He said, Ooh, love the echo effect of that headbutt like that reverb that they threw on that joint love the blood it doesn't sound like water spilling on the ground it actually sounds like a thicker liquid i also like the crack when you see the tooth fly out i know i'm kind of late on that but this always kind of makes me emotional they're literally just <laughs> sorry i remember watching this and i was like oh neither one of these guys are gonna win at first i picked sasuke to win I'm sorry. Like, that's such a grandiose punch effect that they've used so many times in this fight for bigger punches that the small, like, little punch having that sound effect is so funny to me. I like how they don't sound very close, though. They still sound really far away while the music overpowers it. But you can still hear the sound effects of them going through the water and them trying to get up and things like that. The little tank from the headband is really nice. This is where the official soundtrack coming in is moving like my, the hair like i don't know if y'all can see that but the hair on my arm is 
standing completely up. I'm a hairy ass dude, okay? Leave me alone. I like how even behind the music, you can still kind of hear his lightning and Chidori kind of going on in the background. It's very faint, but you can still hear it if you turn it up and the single leaf falling down and making that a sound effect right there. And then this is high stakes. So music, sure. I don't mind it. God, that's so good. Two clashing with the sound, with the music behind each other. And then as the music ends, boom. And once again, they were like, all right, what sound effects can we use to make this thing sound even crazier than the last one? That was, uh, that was something. Yeah, I got emotional there. Yeah, like that's, that's pretty crazy. The fight is legendary. I mean, let's be honest. Like the fight is legendary in anime. Um, there's a lot of awesome fights in anime. Don't get me wrong, but this is one of the ones, since this was one of my first anime, it was actually my third anime that I'd watched, I'm pretty sure. It just always has a special place. And I, I've been wanting to do this video for a year. It's just so much I could talk about with Naruto. So if you guys want another video like this where I talk about sound effects in anime or just sound effects in games or, you know, shows and movies and things like that, uh, let me know down in the comments. I do have a Patreon if you guys want to. Uh, you guys will get the uncut raw footage of this whole entire like breakdown. And I guess, yeah, there's different, there's three different tiers. If you guys want to go, uh, not, not subscribe, but like, go to my patreon you guys get cool benefits things like that um i'm trying to think of some more stuff as well to do for that and uh yeah join my discord follow me on twitter links down in the description below leave a like tell friends about this video if you guys enjoy this and you guys want me to do more of stuff like this please let me know down in the comments and yeah thank you guys so much i'll see you guys later come on